In this episode of Field Guided DIY, I'm going to show you how to tighten and adjust a concealed face frame hinge on your cabinet doors. Let's dive in. Now, a concealed hinge is one where the barrel or the hinge pin is not exposed, like on these cabinets. There's actually a Forstner bit that drills a hole for the concealment for the operation of the hinge, just like these. Now with this cabinet door, you're gonna notice two things. First of all, you're gonna notice that the cabinet door is misaligned from the other cabinet door. The second thing you're gonna notice is how sloppy the hinge is. The reason why it's sloppy is the same reason why it's misaligned, because the hinge has loosened from the frame. So we're gonna adjust that and we're gonna tighten it. You've always gotta start by tightening the hinge against the face frame. Once it's tight against the face frame, then you can adjust. Now right now, it's important to note, we're not gonna use a screw gun. We're gonna use a hand screwdriver. The reason being, the face frame attached concealed hinge is screwed into soft wood. Even more expensive cherry or oak cabinets that have a face frame, you don't wanna strip it out or you don't wanna run the risk of stripping it out. So we're gonna use a hand screwdriver as opposed to a screw gun. We're estimating that we're off by 3 16 of an inch. We're gonna raise it up slightly and tighten it there. It still has to go a little bit more. We support it from the bottom, loosen it, push it up just so slightly and tighten it back up. Still a little bit more. That's pretty spot on right there. Now we're gonna tighten up the bottom. You'll also notice that there's a groove to adjust it in and out. As we close the door and feel the face, we don't need to adjust it in and out. right there, close the door, that's still good there, that's still good there. The second thing we'll look for is this line from top to bottom. If this gap is closer at the top than it is at the bottom, then we can adjust. When I turn the screw counterclockwise, it brings the door that way. If I wanted to push the door towards the other door, I would turn the screw and it would push this hinge towards the other door. Now we've got it too close at the top and open at the bottom. So we're gonna do the same at the bottom hinge. I know what you're thinking. That is not my hairspray. much better. For more tips and suggestions and how-tos, click the image on your screen now.